Munson. I'm the owner of Jennifer Munson Photography. And the question that's before me right now is to give you some tips on shooting indoors. Shooting indoors is probably one of the most difficult things that you'll do with your camera, especially when it comes to horses. Um, most of the time, if you are shooting indoors, you're going to be shooting in dimly lit indoor arenas. Um, this is where the type of camera and the type of lens that you buy are gonna play a huge role in this. Um, you wanna look for a camera that can have a high ISO. And basically that refers to in the old days as your film speed. And the higher the ISO goes, the more sensitive it is to light. Um, when you buy a lens, say that has a 2.8 lens, 2.8 determines the aperture, which is actually the diameter of the opening of your lens. The more light that you can get inside your lens, the, the more dimly lit place that you can take a photograph in. Um, the higher your camera's ISOs go, that directly affects the kind of shutter speeds you need. When you're shooting horses, it's okay if you artistically need to make a blurry image or do something like that, but for most avenues, if you're doing a big event, like I shoot with Bri for Briarfest, you're shooting inside, they want clean images where you stop the action, you can see the horse's legs. Um, so getting those indoor shots are difficult. You know, you wanna make sure that your ISO is as high as it can go. However, when you do have a high ISO, um, that breaks down image quality. So you wanna sort of maintain a, a, a high ISO without maybe going to the highest point. You need that lens. This is where the professional lens comes in, that 2.8 lens. So you can open that wide open aperture in order to stop the light and stop the action. That's, that's what you need the most for the indoor. And it is the most difficult. I mean, I definitely recommend shooting outdoors before I ever recommend shooting indoors. A lot of people, they buy a camera, they want to take pictures of their friends going to shows, and they're, they're frustrated because they can't figure out why their images are blurry. So you really need to know your camera. You really need to understand those settings before you would ever take on any kind of job that involved being indoors.